this is a JSON serializer. Now let us see how a serializer works. Given this input file, which is in a, which is in a JSON format that is key value pairs, like first name, last name, height, age, phone numbers, etc. Now we have to serialize this key value pairs in such a way that we get the individual values into a structure and whenever we give some queries like average of a range, we get the average of all the ages of the of all the you know sets of data present in the JSON file. Here, this is how it goes. I created a stru uh, structure for phone numbers which is which in turn is an array. I created a basic structure for details which contains uh, strings like first name, last name, height, age and an array of phone numbers. Now I use a stack operation to pull and push into the I mean pull and push the data from the file so that I can pass it easily. Just a second. Now uh, find average is a method that finds the average of all the uh, all the numbers. So uh, firstly we need to pass the data JSON data to find all these numbers. Now in main main function is where we have I have written the whole code. So it goes like this. I have uh, created a memory for the structured details start d and now I pass the whole I mean I pass the whole file using this while loop. And I even have, have some error check conditions uh, written here you can see as you can see in this line mm, this line uh, if there's no open press at the end at the starting of the file it means that there's an error similarly and after the open press is found we, we use this while loop for finding out all the I mean all the characters in a file and uh, and whenever there's an end of file I use this condition to check the mag, uh, average age so whenever the file has ended at that point, I'm checking the average age of all the data that has been read, and I'm, retu I'm returning from the main function. So uh, I have checked. I have checked the use of double quotes here, which is mandatory in a key value pairs where the key, where the key or value is a string. So uh, now uh, see. Whenever I pass the data, I just printed the data so as to debug my to you know debug my code to check if there are any errors. Now, if uh, average age is, uh, I'll show you. Now, if there's a space, I'm just uh, reading the next character so that I consider even the spaces instead of considering them as an error. So, uh, in this phone number thing, uh, if the, the type of the phone number is also mandatory, the type of the type can be fax or any other thing. So we we mention this type. The phone number can contain hyphens, hyphens also. So I'm using this condition where if the character is between 48 to 58, it means that it is an integer, and or else it it can also be a hyphen. So if if there are any if there are any other characters other than numbers and hyphen, it is an invalid key. See, if the double quotes also did not end properly, I'm printing this using this statement that the double quotes did not end properly. So that there is a proper error checking also happening in this JSON serializer, deserializer. So whenever I pass a particular key, I mean a key value pairs are separated by a colon. So mm, considering the delimiter as a colon, I pass the first part, left part of the colon and the right part of the colon like they are the key and value respectively. So here, if the key is found to be that in the key value, the key is stored in this str variable, which is a string, and if that string is equal to equal to number, I mean, which is if that string is number, it means that that my uh, number I mean, number field in the details structure should be filled with the, the value of this number. So that is why I use this uh, if condition. If it's a first name, you can see it clearly here. If if it's a first name, str2 contains uh, the name, the actual name. And this first name is the meta metadata of this name. So if str and f first name are same, then I'm storing str2 in d of i dot first name. I'm using string copy instead of equal to so, so that I'm not changing the reference every time in the loop. The sim this is a similar case for last name, height, age. And this is how it works. Now let us see the execution. Uh, I call the uh, int, I mean find average function here. This this find average function finds out the average age of all the fields in the JSON file. Here, as you can see, there are two sets of data. 
first one uh, first name uh, peri uh, pay register and uh, last name height age etc and the next set of data is is my data which is mahikant b uh, height fight and age 40 so on so so my average age should be 44 plus 40 by 2 which is 42 let us see if it works or not i'm running this and let me just remove this debugging points so as you can see this is all the debugging data and you can see here that average age is 42 so this is how my json serializer 